Hello folks, Scott Grove here of GroovyMusicLessons.com. You can always find all my free lessons if you are on YouTube right now by clicking the link right below here. It'll take you to all my free lessons. You can spend the rest of your life with free lessons on there. Um, they're all laid out for guitar, or for bass, or for country, or for what have you. Okay, um, since earlier today I happened to throw out a really um, short and worthless video <laughs> for bass guitar. I figured I'd do the same thing for uh, acoustic guitar. Now this here is just an alternate tuning which is um, utterly also useless as was the last video I did. But I used to play around with this a lot uh, when I was a kid which was like 40 years ago. Okay, which means I'm old. <laughs> Way older than 40. Okay, watch the licking. So my pick can be sticking, because I grabbed a pick that don't stick today. Okay, so what did we do? Let's get down here where we can make some actual noise. Okay, all I have done, just to let you know, which generally helps when I let you know, is I tune the guitar from... Okay, so it's E, like normal, B like normal. Then everything else is tuned down. So just another E, then another B, then another E, then another B. Okay, E, B, E, B, E, B. Okay, when you do this, of course, your guitar, your acoustic anyway, will go nuts on you, and the top will shift, and the bridge will shift, and the neck tension will shift. So when you tune these high E string and the B string at first, and they're already there anyway, then when you go to loosening everything else up, these two will go way sharp on you. So you're going to need to tune this three or four times to get it right. Okay? So, knowing that, now that we have everything... tuned like this, what's it good for? Not a whole heck of a lot, except for just your um, major scale. Okay, but thing is I do is I play all B notes, all six of these, I make B notes. How do I do that? I go to the A string with my middle finger, 7th fret, 7th fret on my G string, and then 7th fret on my high E string. Okay, so now, so you're just skipping every other string, so now you have B, 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 B. B, B. Okay, all six of them are B strings now, or B notes. Okay, so now we just go from our root, which is B, of course, the whole guitar is now B. Now we go one, two, three, just like your old uh, Do, Re, Mi things, do it in B. That old thing, you know, just your typical scale. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, that thing. And you can play those notes. So, B, then your two, going up to the next, up to the ninth fret. Going up to the 11th fret. So you have seven, nine, eleven. You can go 12 and then up to 14. You can go up to 16 if you have a cutaway. Okay, so the rest of this, just to get you around, you can already tell, it's actually kind of cool. This is, this is really nice for recording. Okay, to use this whenever you're playing something in the key of B or any other key, you can tune them this way, you know, tune, you know, D, A, D, A, D, A, or G, you know, G, D, G, D, G, D, whatever. Any of those tunings where it's just root fifth, root fifth, root fifth, okay? But you'll always have the same scale. Okay, again, seven, again, skipping everything. Starting on the A string, and then the G string, then the E string. Seven, nine, eleven. 12, 14, okay? 7, 9, 11, 
then 12, 14, and as a nice passing note if you have a cutaway, the 16. And the other two nice ones are 2nd and 4th fret. It's nice to stop down here at the 2nd fret. Okay, it's the same as doing the 14th and the 16th. It sounds nice to stop there, so it's an octave higher, now an octave lower here. Okay, what I'm going to show you is just a little, um, I actually subliminally, subconsciously I guess, took this from um, a Kenny Rogers song of all things. I didn't know I did. I thought I wrote this song, but come to find out a couple years later that I actually ripped it off of Kenny Rogers, which is okay. Um, so taking these um, chords and starting at the um, ninth and then eleventh. Okay, and then there was another tune that came out not too long ago. Um, uh, can't remember what the heck it was. You guys probably already know what it is. I used to play it with my other bands. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you know the song. Um, was it Slide? I can't remember what it was called. If it is, let me know. Anyway, but that's what I came up with, was that. Let's see. Okay, so that type of thing. But it just gives you something to mess with. It's really nice to add two to four, then the low B, then harmonics to the seventh fret. That's just where it sounds cool. That's where you can get your B harmonics instead of your E. If you ever want to do that, just hit your A string, which is now your E, and now it's your twelfth and fifth frets. Okay, but your low B is real nice and strong here at your 7th fret harmonics. So again, whatever you want to do with that, but whatever you, uh, again, whatever you want to do with it. Just an alternate tuning for you, and just to show you how you can use just the major scale. Your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. all the way up if you can do it. Or you can do your major or flat and seventh. Okay. You can go down to five. do open also, of course, because it's tuned that way. Okay, there you go. Uh, once again, Scott Grove, GroovyMusicLessons.com, drop by any old time, all the free lessons you can handle, tons of them that you can pay for too if you ever uh, get so inclined to, and just enjoy yourself, enjoy the channel, it's got a bunch of goofy junk all over here, um, 
it's just the strangest place to hang out and uh, would enjoy having you here, okay? So enjoy uh, destroying your axe and doing whatever that was we just did. Later, kids! <laughs>